Hi everyone, Luke Filmboss here, and today I will be reviewing Disney's Christopher Robin. Tell me his name again. Christopher Robin! So recently I just made a review on Peach Dragon explaining why I think that it's pretty bad and unentertaining. The reason Peach Dragon was bad is the reason Christopher Robin is good. Strike that. Let me rephrase it. Christopher Robin did right what Peach Dragon did wrong. Before I get into the main topic of this video, I just want to state some quick positives and a sort of negative about this movie. First off, I just really enjoyed the cast and characters in this movie. They were just super fun and enjoyable. Also, this movie was very well made. It was a pretty expertly made movie, actually, that really gets some good emotional moments and entertainment out of it. And honestly, had it been nominated for Best Picture of 2018, I probably wouldn't have minded it. Now, yes, I know that this movie really isn't that good, but it was just so professionally done that it honestly would have earned its spot in that list. However, what really holds it back is that it is such a simple generic story about a father who is kind of neglecting his family duties and how this band of stuffed animals helps him regain his family's love and help him become somewhat of a child again, knowing the importance of playing and being there for your family. But overall... Those are just some quick details. Now it's time to get into why this movie really works. Peach Dragon didn't work because for most of the film, there was no plot or goals. Christopher Robin, on the other hand, has a lot of goals and plot points. First off, by comparison, the story of Christopher Robin, while still simple, is much better and more developed than Peach Dragon. Christopher Robin tells a bigger and more developed story in its opening credit sequence than Peach Dragon does in the entire runtime of the movie. The main goal of Christopher Robin is set up very early on in the movie. Christopher Robin has to find a way to save the jobs of multiple employees who work at the business that he currently works at. So, from very early on in the movie, we have a set goal that Christopher Robin is working towards. There are multiple other plot points in this movie, each one leading to the next. First off, Pooh wants to find some honey. When he can't find his honey, he goes off to find his friends. When he can't find his friends, he goes off to find Christopher Robin. When he finds Christopher Robin, Christopher Robin sets off on his own little journey to get Pooh back to the Hundred Acre Woods, and then the two of them go off to find their friends together. Once Christopher Robin finds his friends, he has to face an imaginary heffalump in order to prove that he is Christopher Robin to his friends. Then he spends the night and oversleeps, and so now he has to get to his business meeting on time. Tigger swapped out Christopher Robin's business papers for some trinkets to remember them by. That leads the stuffed animals to go on an expedition to get Christopher Robin's papers back to him. M Madeline, Christopher Robin's daughter, gets wound up in this mission to get the papers back, and so that leads her mother, Christopher Robin's wife, to go on her own little journey to find Madeline. This all leads to the conclusion, and it keeps our attention. It's one plot point, one goal after the other. We constantly know what our characters are working towards, and so it keeps us intrigued with that. So yeah, I don't really have much more to say outside of the fact that Christopher Robin was very well made, the characters were fun and enjoyable, and plot and goals really drives this film as opposed to Peach Dragon, which I didn't like very much. I give Christopher Robin an 85% in quality, a 75% in enjoyment, for an overall score of 80%. Thanks everyone for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help you be on the lookout for more videos from Luke Film Boss.